Hi everyone, I'm Whitney Freya, and I'm here with my dear friend, Dr. Marie and Booney. We're supposed to say that, remember? Yes. Um, and we are here because we got inspired to make sure that you had some basic, fun, super empowering ideas or tips for you if you are on your evolutionary path. So we have our top 10 ideas that you want to explore if you are on your evolutionary path. Our first one was getting to know the left right brain. Mm -hmm. And number two is read this book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And then of course you want to pick up The Fifth Agreement by his son, Don Jose, Jose Ruiz. Ruiz who we just met at yeah. Awesomeness Fest. We gotta share the love. Okay, because Don yeah. Jose is like the most precious, precious, precious. We both really mm. connected with him because the Toltec people, which is the tradition that Don Jose was raised in and from which Don Miguel also based his teachings, their word for human is artist. Wow. And Don Jose said over and over, the art you're creating is through spirit. You are an artist of the spirit. Mm. And I so love we love, we really love this teaching. Yeah. Uh, the Four Agreements is a classic book. It's one of those books on self-help or spirituality that anybody can read. And so it's a great place to begin to understand the immense creative power of your mind and how without the awareness we're creating our lives based on other people's stories and other people's ideas instead of understanding that we get to create our own stories what is right for you what feels good for you what makes you feel powerful and aligns with your truth and um, creates the opportunities for you to live the life that you want to live the first time I read this book, I felt so empowered because it allowed me to take control of how I chose to show up in my own life. And I really love the fact that we are sharing with you today because it will change your life. Okay, I think we have to mention what the four agreements are. Yes, we are. Okay. Okay. You go the first. So I've already done a whole video on this first yeah. agreement. So the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Mm. Be impeccable with your word. And what it means is you really have to speak with integrity. Say what you mean and mean what you say. And really avoid using words that are against yourself try not to gossip uh, if you want to express an emotion do it if it's not appropriate don't but speak what you mean and mean what you say that's the first agreement be impeccable with your word okay I have to add one thing because I love this one and yeah. it really clicked with me when I understood how we um, tell ourselves all the time I have to do something I should do something mm -hmm. and so we're creating this tension and this friction in places that it's not necessary and so being impeccable with your word for me is about making sure that I'm being supportive with the mm -hmm. thoughts in my mind yeah. of myself um, and my silly example is how weeding the garden used to be something that was like this huge chore and created stress um, in the household and um, why would I tell myself that like I have to do something that ultimately I want to do I want to have a garden that doesn't have weeds in it so now I say I get to go weed the garden because mm. I'm going to ground myself I'm gonna go connect to Mother Earth and get off the computer and go get my hands in the dirt yeah so being impeccable with your word is not allowing yourself to create images or stories in your mind that are not supportive of you or are um, in any way supporting that you're creating a life or living a life that you're at the mercy of these external circumstances. So really watch how you speak and eliminate have to and should. Yes, and, and, and know that words have power and only speak words that are directed to love and truth 
so that you can live a life filled with love. Mm -hmm. Agreement number two, don't take anything personally. Oh, this one is big. It's huge. I love it. Yeah. And so basically what Don Miguel Ruiz is saying is that anything that anybody does or says reflects their own reality. It has nothing to do with you. And when you understand that, it really decreases any suffering because, you know, we spend our times, what did they mean? Why did they say that? And why did they do that? When you start detaching from that, wow. Yeah, I mean, if you have kids, okay, you'll have, a, a, I'm sure, an opportunity sometime in the next 24 hours to not take something personally. You know, they come home from high school and they slam the door and they go up to your to the room and they don't say hi to you. You know, hi, how is school? And they just avoid and go upstairs. And you're thinking, oh, I'm not a good mother. You know, they don't they like me, me anymore. <laughs> and it's like, no, don't take it personally. Yeah. They're teenagers and they're having a grumpy moment, so let them go. Yeah. Don't take it personally. Yeah. Your boss at work, the coworker, you know, any of those things, like just understand that they are reacting to something in their life and you, are receiving maybe mm. their bad mood but it's really yeah. got nothing to do with you it's something that happened earlier so don't take it personally yeah. please yeah I love it it'll save so much energy <laughs> <laughs> number three huge don't make assumptions this was really big for me because um, sometimes I'm a little shy or whatever so what it means is that have the courage to ask questions and somebody tells you the sky is pink and you don't think it's pink don't assume they're crazy <laughs> ask them what they mean or when you get that email you know and you feel like the email has this kind of cutting maybe bitchy tone to it and then you start getting all upset you're making an assumption yeah. Um, or if you're going to make an assumption, assume the best. Yes. Right? That's, that's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. So don't make assumptions. Yeah. And, and this is an agreement that can actually change your life. And apply it to yourself too. Try to really stick to what you want to say or express or show or so there are no ambiguities so people can really get you. Mm -hmm. If you love sausage or cheese or whatever I know I have silly examples but I'm trying to make it really easy okay the fourth agreement is always do your best Wow. so maybe it's talking about I mean we get always do your best right mm -hmm. um, and to me actually that my first reaction to that is like it kind of makes me tired <laughs> like <laughs> I did my best in yeah. every single thing like yeah. but I can do my best relaxing I can do my best being present. I can do my best when I'm with a friend listening by really showing up and being there 100%. Yeah. yeah. So always do your best, yeah. even on an energetic level, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and show up in alignment. If you're doing something, you know, because you, you want to be that person that helps or, you know, is always there, volunteers, but you really don't want to be there, that's not doing your best, right? No. Doing your best would be being honest, like, hey, this is where I want to send my energy and I'm going to show up 100% and, and yeah. I'm going to have to let go of some things as yeah. well. Yeah, and, and I think that I love what Don Miguel Ruiz says, which is your best will change from moment to moment. If you're sick, you're not going to do your best as if you have your full health. And the other thing that I love, he said, is... When you know that you're doing your best, it's going to help you avoid self-judgment or self-abuse or regrets because you're gonna know that at the core, you are really, really being authentic to who you are, which is an artist. An artist of the spirit. Yes. And then the fifth agreement, which you'll have to go out and get, is um, be skeptical and listen. Mm. So when you start saying, oh, I could never do that, be skeptical. <laughs> and then listen for the guidance that comes your way. You will be 
divinely guided mm. um, on your highest path. Yes. Stay skeptical to what your inner critic or your left brain, the logical mind is saying. Stay open and listen to what the whispers are. Yeah. So it's not being skeptical to what other people say. You know, if somebody says anything, it's about you inside. Okay. All right. Go get the four agreements. If you have not read it, read this. This is foundational information for you on your evolutionary path. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We love you. Mwah.